Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security by I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is twofold, an emergency Internet Explorer update and an update to the Ashley Madison breach. First, sorry I didn't post a video yesterday as at an off-site meeting. Anyways, let's start with yesterday's emergency Internet Explorer update. Microsoft released an out-of-band bulletin that fixes a vulnerability in Internet Explorer, a memory corruption vulnerability that essentially allows an attacker to remotely execute code on your computer. All you have to do is visit a website that contains malicious code or that maybe points to malicious code through advertisements or some other link. And by the way, this is a vulnerability that attackers are currently exploiting in the wild. So long story short, if you have Internet Explorer 7311 for Windows, you need to install this update immediately. The second story relates to a previous video I did talking about how Ashley Madison, the popular affair site, had a big security breach. Well, in any case, the hacktivists that threatened to release this data have finally done so. Basically, since Ashley Madison didn't shut down their website, they finally released a Tor link, a, a uh, anonymous network link, where you can download almost 10 gigabytes of customer information. And this customer information, of course, contains the names, the addresses, the, the the email addresses, the phone numbers of all the users. Now there's some good news and bad news here. The good news is as far as your password credentials, it looks like Ashley Madison was using a hashing algorithm called bcrypt. That doesn't mean attackers can't crack weak passwords, but it does make it a whole lot harder. Now the bad news is while there's some mixed reports on this, at least one security researcher has said it does contain valid credit card information. So if you actually used your credit card at Ashley Madison, you might be concerned with that. In any case, very interesting story. Uh, hopefully you're not an Ashley Madison member, but if you are, you definitely need to change your password. And if you used your credit card on the site, you might need to do some credit monitoring. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.